Hi, this is Brandon Moon with Moonlit Fly Fishing. I just want to welcome you to Fly Tying Night tonight. Um, I have a series of special tires that are going to be tying, so the introduction is going to be me doing this, and then, you know, the introduction to the tires will be more in the um, uh, description of the fly on YouTube and Facebook. So, Please enjoy these series of tires. You can see right here, I've got the new Nirvana on the fly rotary vise. This is the purple. We're extremely excited to bring this to you. Um, obviously, everybody knows how much I love purple, but man, I can't tell you how mu how much I can't wait to tie on some of these other colors. Um, they're beautiful exquisite colors they look fantastic they tie amazing they're really smooth so part of these people I got some video talking about this vice I'll put together for our <clears throat> pre-sale on these but we're just excited to bring this to the market to you guys and look forward so please do us a favor though it mean a lot to us if you would like your favorite video including this one we'd really appreciate that make sure that you comment ask us a question you know just say hi whatever we'd love to interact these things really help us out a lot as we're bringing this content forward um, please also hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive future notifications doing these things is a huge favor to us we know but it's greatly appreciated it definitely helps us within the algorithms of YouTube so that we can be seen by more people and continue getting our content out to the masses. Um, we believe in what we're doing and believe it adds value and we work hard for that. So, Alright, so we're going to be tying a uh, basically a wolf style fly. This is kind of a gray wolf or an Adam's wolf type pattern. Uh, so what I have here is a it's a gray A dot classic wax from Semperfly, and the hook is a standard wire number fourteen from Moonlit. So the first thing we did is I uh, I waxed that thread pretty good. This is a uh, just a piece of broke off. This is Semperfly's wax. Um, gives you a good solid base helps keep the hairs stuff from twisting. So all I did is put a thread base, brought that back up to about 50%, maybe a 60% point. Um, then it's going to be a calf tail wing. Oops, need to restack that. That's probably going to be loud. Right, so the first thing we'll do is I'm going to kind of measure that about the length of that hook shank put it in and I wrap forward and then back and then we'll stop right there take and taper this so I'm going to put my finger there just kind of keep it from twisting and so that it'll taper back to the butt end or all the way back to the bend if you get a few little tags, it's not going to matter. Trim those out. So you can see we've got a pretty good taper going down. Then I'm going to go to, uh, it's a, a bleached uh, moose body. It uh, gives you some really good stiff, fine tails. Because all you're going to be using is the, the very tips of it. Just even those up real quick. And same thing, kind of measure it by the length, about the shank length, set it in there, kind of pull it, and then that that's just one little wrap. And that one may end up a little long, but it'll be okay. Uh, real carefully, you want to do the same kind of thing and taper that cut so that basically when you walk that thread up, and I got one that's a little bit long. I saw it down there on the bottom. You get a nice even body 
for that. It's pretty solid. Everything's in there. Nothing's going to pull out. Then what we're going to use, this is actual uh, muskrat clip from the hide. So this is just the, the real soft under fur. There's a few little guard hairs mixed in here, but we'll probably try to make, get rid of those. This is a super soft, super fine dubbing. So, so you can dub it pretty sparse. You don't want a whole lot of bulk to that. Then we're just going to touch and wraps. Bring that back up. Keeping that tapered body. Back up that point. Now we're going to make the wing. So the first thing I want to do is I want to stand this wing up. Right, I'm going to come in front and you're going to go at angles and just build build up kind of a little taper going up. So you stand that. Now to make the wing what I'll do is I'll take my thumb and press back and that will cause that wing to split pretty much even every time. And then once you got a figure eight through there all I'm going to do is it's hard to see with these lights, but uh, basically I'm going to post the base of each of those wings. And then I'm going to, this is the good thing about a rotary vise, I'm going to kind of just tilt it towards me so I can see, make sure I've got those wings pretty evenly divided. And that they're basically sitting on top of that hook shank where you want them. Uh, and then I'm going to take a, a brown and a grizzly hackle. Strip a little bit of the stem. And I'm going to lay that between the wings. Right, do a couple wraps. And we'll go over and just use that. And that where I dropped it down in front of those wings, it puts a little bit of kink in that... Um, that feather shank and it'll help hold it in uh, and then if this works right I'm going to wrap them both at the same time if I got them tied in. Sometimes I'll pull free and you might have time back in but uh, if everything works well Whoops. I gotta get both right out. You want to keep them basically touching each other we'll go two behind we're going to kind of pull that wing back and depending on how much room, size of the hook shank, uh, this one I'm only going to do two in the front, but two to three in the front, so you, it ends up totaling up, you know, about eight wraps of hackle total. And then we'll catch those. And then before I clip them, I'm going to pull everything back and just catch one. And this is where you got to be careful uh, to make sure you don't jar that spool, bounce that thread because it'll you know, those hackles will slack and slip on you. And we'll walk it back and we'll basically just whip finish. Hold that eye because on a dry fly shake you don't want to bend that hook, pulling that thread tight. Always pull it back towards the wing. It'll help pull everything back off the eye of that hook. And yeah, we left the eye open. And we're just going to kind of clean those hackles. It's a wolf, so it's not supposed to be... You actually don't want it super pretty. It's a big bushy fly. It floats well. That's good for broken water. And uh, I don't have it with me, but you put a little drop of head cement on there just to... Uh, Again, before you leave, I just want to invite you to take a look at our vice as we're getting ready. We'll be having this up on the website, just not for the ordering, but just so that you can check it out. This is a Nirvana on the fly rotary vice. 
We want to thank you for watching one of our guest tires tonight. Make sure you hit the like button, leave us a comment, hit the subscribe and the bell to receive future notifications. If you do this, that would mean an awful lot to us, and we appreciate your support and your time. You have a wonderful evening.